Hey guys, in this video, you will learn how you can save your SMS into your Airtable's database automatically. So guys, if you want to keep the track of your SMS that you're receiving, or if you want to take the backup of your SMS history, this automation is for you. And here we are going to connect Twilio with Airtable. So Twilio is a SMS sending and receiving application. And guys, as and when you are going to receive any SMS uh, on a Twilio number, that SMS will be stored in Airtable space automatically without any manual intervention. So it will save a lot of your time and manual efforts. And we are going to set up this automation without any coding. So let's begin. So we are setting up this automation using Pavli Connect, which is an automation tool. And here is the landing page of Pavli. And I have pasted the same link is in the description as well. So from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So guys, you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application like this. And from here, click on this create workflow button to set up your workflow. And here you can give a name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as Twilio to Airtable. Okay. And after giving this name, you just have to click on this create button and you can see the workflow page started loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So our automations are based on these two things. So trigger starts this workflow and the action is the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So trigger is going to occur in an application and action is going to occur in a different application. Okay. So in our use case, guys, receiving of an SMS via Twilio will act as a trigger to this workflow and the action would be to send us SMS records into Airtable. Okay. So first of all, you have to choose Twilio application from this trigger step. Okay. And then you have to select the trigger event as new SMS. All right. And it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this URL, we are going to create a connection with Twilio application. And after, after that, we are going to capture the response of that connection. So to make this connection, guys, we are going to uh, reach the Twilio applications console. Okay, this is Twilio. And from here, guys, you will find this uh, phone numbers option here. All right, from here, click on uh, manage button. And here you'll find this active numbers option, click on active numbers. So this is the active number uh, given to us from Twilio. And guys, from here, you have to click on this number. Okay, so this is the number on which we are going to receive the messages. Okay, and here guys on this page, when you scroll down, you will find the messaging section. This is the messaging section. Under this messaging section, you will find a message comes in option. A message comes in. From here, you have to select this webhook option. And here in this field, you have to paste this webhook URL that you got from your workflow. Okay, so let me just remove this already pasted webhook. Okay, and let me copy this one. All right, and here you can see as we have copied this webhook URL, it started showing waiting for the response. Okay, now let me paste this URL here like this. Okay, and then click on save to save the settings. Okay, right. So the number was successfully updated here. Now guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, send a message to this number. Okay, I'm going to send a message from uh, from a different number, I'm going to send a message to this number. And that message will be captured here in this response section of your workflow. Okay. And with the help of that data, we are going to move forward in this automation, right? So guys, I have sent a message to the number and here is the response I have received. And in this response, guys, let me show you uh, a label in which you can see the message that we have received. So here you can see this is the message we have received. Hello, we are just capturing the incoming SMS messages. This is the message I have sent to this number, uh, to this Twilio's number, and it got captured here like this. Okay. And it is sent from this number. Right. 
Now guys, I want to save this message in my Airtable's base. So here in this action step, I'm going to connect with Airtable. All right. And here in the action event, select create record option, then click on connect. From here, select add new connection. And here it, you have to fill the API key of Airtable. So you'll get this key from the account section of your Airtable's base. So this is my Airtable my base guys. And here is my profile icon from here, click on accounts. And under, under accounts page, you will find this API key right here, you just have to copy this and paste it here in this field. And then click on save and you'll be connected with Airtable. All right, so we are connected and now it is asking for the base ID. So here is my base's name here, you have to select your base name, my base name is SMS received. So just open this drop down and from here search for SMS received name of the base. And you can see the table ID got auto populated here because we have only one table here named as table one. All right, and here it is uh, just started showing these fields received from SMS body. Okay, so these are the two fields I have here, you can see the received from field and the SMS body field. Okay. And this is a uh, another field we have which is going to capture the date and the time of the filling of this data here. Okay, so this is a created time field we have added. Okay, just for saving the date and the time, right. Now to send the data here, we are going to map the data from the previous step. Okay, so from this previous step, I'm going to map the labels I have received. For that you just have to click here. And the previous trigger will appear in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will see all the data right here. So from here, I'm going to map the number like this. Okay. And for the SMS body, use the same process and search for the text that you have received. or the body that you have received, okay, like this. And after that, you can check your connection with a table by clicking on save and send test request button. And this message will and this number will be saved here in your uh, base like this. Okay, let me show you I'm clicking on save and send test request button. And here's the response we have received. Now let me show you my base. And here you can see we have received the number. And the message also. Okay. Right. So this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow. After that, whenever you are going to receive a new SMS, the details of the SMS and the number will be saved in your table automatically. And guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.